This is a tutorial to show you how to modify symbols in Illustrator CS4. Same approach can be used probably in CS5. Um, I'm just going to Symbols Palette. Now if you haven't got Symbols Palette open, you have to go to the Window menu and Symbols. Right. So I've got Symbols there. Just going to go right click on the right side. And you will see Open Symbol Library in the menu for the symbol. Other Library. Now I could pick one of these libraries, but I'm just going to go to pick a graphic extras.com symbols library, so other library, Rux Illustrator symbols. Now the location of where you put your symbols might vary from uh, obviously your, in your system. I mean, I've, these are just symbols that I've got in my uh, in my folders. So just going to pick Christmas tree designs. So I'm just going to go there symbols. Just select that one open. Now the symbols will appear in a library. Now you can't actually modify that little, you cannot modify that design there. So next thing to do is actually select one of the symbols. So as soon as you select the symbols, so I'll just select them, they will appear in the symbols palette here. That, that's actually for the document. This is just a library. You can't actually modify. Now you can modify this if you go to the actual file itself. So if you edit the GX75 underscore Christmas trees AI file and then change them. In there, the symbols will all appear in this folder. But when you're opening something else, it actually just appears only here. And over here are just the ones you've, you're using. So if I just add a few more, they, are, they just appear there. Now, go to a symbol and, and then just say, just double click that. And that will add it to the thing. But it also will enable you to edit the design. So I'm just going to change the color here. So I make it darker. And there's a red star there. So I'm just going to make that yellow. So green. Yeah. Right. So now I'm just going to exit the isolation mode, current isolation mode. I'm just going to go to this top section here and exit isolation mode. So I'm just going to click that. As soon as I do that, the symbol that I've just modified actually is changed here. That isn't changed over here because of course you can't access that location. So it's actually just modified here. So now if I use that, if I drag that onto the surface, yeah, you can see the symbol is no longer... Thing. Now obviously you could actually duplicate that. But you can also edit it on the actual surface. So I'm just going to now just modify it here. So I've dragged it from here and I'm just going to double click here. And you are about to edit the symbol definition. Any edits will be applied to all its instances. Do you want to continue? Yes, OK, I do. Right, so I'm just going to quickly modify it. And I'm going to make it blue. And the star, I'm just going to make slightly bigger. So you can show you other changes other than just color. Now I'm going to go back to the exit isolation mode. Click there. And there. You've actually got obviously it's a leftover it's quite big there now because I've resized it but the actual design now I'm just going to obviously changed all the uh, instances of the design so so I'm just going to get that so I drag that out from there to show you that the actual symbol has been changed again not modified over in this section this is the library but it's just modified here now like I say if you want to go and change them so I'm just going to say open that folder. You could actually go to the products and then go to Adobe straight to symbols, Christmas trees, symbols, sometimes select that one or, or this one. So you could just select that file and you will actually now see the symbols all appear in the symbols. Now this is actually the symbols file itself so you can modify them in the symbols. So you can actually change the color so as soon as you change the colour there, it should change in. Well, it won't because that, they're actually the past. So so actually, if you want to then, so if you want to grab it, drag it over, you can actually save that as a new symbol. So that actually that design will there. These are, these symbols are actually not related to these. These are actually the source of the design. So you'd actually have to modify modify the design. But if you want to change say the symbol there, you actually have to drag it out and so on. So. Uh, and then modify that. So, okay, change it to green. 
select it first of course green exit the isolation mode and now you'll see it changes there doesn't change over here because like I say they're just normal paths okay so that's a quick tutorial how to change symbols and colors you can do other obviously you can distort them modify them warp them and whatever but uh, that's the basic approach